Doc Rich back at it again, baby. And we got the brother Greg roasting Bob Sackett. That's what we're going to be checking out today. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button if you're new. You know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Join the family. All right? Original link to the video will be in the description box below. Let's go. He's back again making his annual disappearance. Please welcome the unknown comic, <laughs> one of my favorites, Greg Giraldo. Thank you, thank you, everybody. John Stamos, isn't he, she great? John played the bongos in a Beach Boys video wearing a pink tank top. That couldn't have been any gayer if George Michaels was on your lap stuffing crystal meth up your ass with Rupert Everett's fist. You're on ER now, John. Congratulations. You're like Susie Essman's vagina. You're almost useless, but somehow you keep working. <laughs> John, was, uh, John was married to my favorite supermodel, Rebecca Romaine O'Connell. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. John, you, uh... John, you lost your wife to the fat kid from Stand By Me. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at you, you greasy Greek bastard. I look at you and I wonder, how can there be an energy crisis? We shouldn't be drilling in Alaska. We should be wringing out your family's pillowcases. <laughs> look at this day. It's what a parade of horrible. Are we, are we crowning the ugliest person in show business here tonight? It's like Stamos sucked up all the handsome for himself. <laughs> this, uh, this stage is like Planned Parenthood. Two sluts and nine abortions. Ooh. Norm MacDonald is here, one of the funniest people ever. Norm's got a giant gambling problem. He's dropped more coin in a casino than Michael J. Fox at a parking meter. It's a fucking roast. Groany, groan, groan. Brian Posehn, look at him, that giant fucking ghoul. We've all seen you shirtless on the Sarah Silverman show. It's hard to believe you could be so out of shape considering how often the townspeople must chase you around with torches. Great Cloris Leachman, of course, is here. Cloris Leachman. <laughs> Cloris is so old, she lost her virginity to a druid. <laughs> what are you doing here, Cloris? You're the only person with any talent. You won an Oscar and nine Emmys. When it comes to winning awards, you've been more voracious than John Lovitz at an all-the-dick-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> John Lovitz, you fucking gay weeble. Come on, John. There hasn't been a more feminine Jew in the closet since Anne Frank. <laughs> you don't like Doc. You love it. You are one pouch-chinned prick. Every time you open your mouth, I expect a baby kangaroo to jump out. <laughs> You have the jawline of a pelican. <laughs> a flock of seabirds was backstage looking for fish in your chin bags. <laughs> Susie Essman, look at you. You're a mess. You're like, you're like Screech with tits. <laughs> I guess uh, Cloris Leachman is here to make you seem fuckable. <laughs> when I saw you got cast as a loud, obnoxious Jewish broad on Curb Your Enthusiasm, I thought, wow, I guess you must give better head than Fran Drescher. Speaking of head, Jeff Garland's big head is here. Jeff's head is like the population of India. It's dense, sweaty, and doubles in size each year. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey's here. Gilbert recently had a baby. Who would fuck you? You have the sex appeal of a school bus fire. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to the man of the hour, Bob Saget, everybody, huh? Bob Saget. <laughs> Bob... Bob, you are a genital wart on the cock of American culture. <laughs> Seriously, who gives a shit about Bob Saget? With your long neck, pointy beak, and granny glasses, you're like the Vlasic pickle stork. <laughs> Except instead of delivering babies, you're not funny. 
You're like my seven-year-old son. You think cursing is hilarious, and you're not surprised your dick is the same size it was in the first grade. <laughs> and where the hell are the Olsen twins? The Olsons are like Tom Green's testicles. They look the same, but one is fake and empty inside, and the other one's been licked by Heath Ledger. <laughs> He'd be cool with it, fuckers. <laughs> You wrote and directed the movie Farce of the Penguins. That movie was so stupid, Ebert and Roper gave it two thumbs down syndrome. <laughs> a lot of people say you're a shameless sellout. That's, that's ridiculous. You, you gotta be a little ashamed, seriously. A little bit? I read an interview where you referred to yourself as an artist. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> as an artist? You use the phrase as an artist? You are a vortex of artistic compromise. Charlie Sheen watches you and feels good about himself. <laughs> You, you are an artist in the same way Cloris Leachman is moist. <laughs> You're not an artist, Bob, and stop enjoying your ironic hipness that's going on with you these days. You're not cool. Stop trying to be hip. At one point in your act, you actually say, who's your daddy? Say my name, look me in the eye, true dad. Holy fuck, I couldn't cringe any harder if I watched my mom in a Bukaki video. <laughs> I'm done being mean, Bob. I've, I've met you a bunch of times. You've always been hilarious and super cool, and, uh, and everybody that knows you loves and respects you. Nobody ever has a bad thing to say about you, and uh, that's, that's, that's particularly surprising because you're, you're Jewish, and you're obnoxious people. Thanks a lot for letting me do this. Thank you. Bro. Bro, rest in peace to Greg, man. Holy shit. Whew. Talk about a roast. Damn. He scorched them boys with the heat of the sun. <laughs> Ooh. He burnt them boys to a crisp. God damn. Oh, shit. Mm. Holy man, did things get out of hand. Sheesh, Louise. Y'all let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. <laughs> like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. I'm out.